everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. It's been a really, really long time since I filmed a favourites video, but I thought today I would just sit down and talk you through some new products that I've loved. I've also got Basil here because he won't lay on his own, so if you see any weird movement, it's just him. Okay, so first things I want to talk about is a jewellery brand. Um, of course, I get asked a lot of questions all the time about what jewellery I wear. Um, obviously, I absolutely love jewellery, it's like my favourite thing ever. So yeah, I do get a lot of questions about what brands I like. I have recently got a few more pieces from Regal Rose. Um, you've probably heard of them before, I have posted quite a lot of their stuff on my Instagram previously. I absolutely love Regal Rose, they're like one of my favourite jewellery brands. Such a good range and variety of jewellery on their website as well. Um, so there really is something for everybody. You've got like your more simple stackable pieces and then you've got like your edgy and more statement pieces. Um, personally I love like the mixture of both. To have kind of more like simple rings then have like a couple of more big standout ones. Um, and also another really good thing about Regal Rose is pretty much all of the pieces they do, they do in silver and gold. Most of the jewellery that I wear is gold, I just like how it looks on me and all my piercings are done in gold as well so it just matches. Um, but I do really really love like mixing metals and having like chunkier silver rings with gold so yeah it's a really good way of doing that because they have everything in both colours. So I have got a few pieces from Regal Rose today to show you. Um, so I'm going to start with my rings. So on my index finger, I've got this beautiful gold engraved ring here and it's got a big black stone on it. Um, and then when you unclip this little bit here, you can open the top up. I just think it's so cute. I love like quirky little things like that. I think it's so nice. Yeah, I love how big this is. I really struggle to find like big rings that are really nice and comfortable. But yeah, I love this. Just above that, I have another Regal Rose ring. Um, I wear this one quite a lot, it's just a gold sort of signet ring style and it just says darling engraved across it which I think is really cute. I love that word, I think it's so sweet. So then on my middle finger I've got this gold and silver little eye ring and um, this is so cute. Um, but in the centre it's got like the little north star which is the same as my tattoo on my chest. So I think that's really cute and then just has little stones all the way around the outside. I think it's really dainty and sweet. And then moving on to my ears, I don't know how well, I hope you can see this. Um, with my ears I love layering and like stacking them up and for ages I haven't been able to find like the perfect size hoop for this well these third holes that I have and um, they're in a really weird place because they're kind of like cartilage low yeah it's quite difficult to find a hoop that actually fits really nice so they're just these little gold huggy hoops um, and then I'll zoom in so hopefully you can see a little bit better um, when you see them close up they're actually engraved like snake print it's just like a really nice little touch to like a simple piece um, but yeah I love like adding a little bit of texture in because when you're stacking up jewellery it can get quite like repetitive so it's quite nice to just have like a little different texture in there but I love those, they're so cute and yeah they fit really nicely, I feel like they'd fit nicely anywhere on your ear yeah I absolutely love those, I think they look so nice um, layered up the quality of Regal Rose jewellery is really good so I've had these in for probably about a month now and obviously I've washed my hair with them in and everything and they still look absolutely perfect, so the quality is so good. So now I've got a couple of chains to show you. Um, obviously I love like gold chains, they're my favourite thing. And I love layering them, I love having like different length ones. Um, so, I've got this beautiful flat like snake chain. Um, again, this is gold. The quality of this is so amazing, like it feels so thick and sturdy. Um, it sits really nicely as well, I have it on like the tightest one at the back at the moment, but it sits so nicely. So like for reference, like my collarbones are here, so it just sits kind of just really nicely. Chains like this, it just sit flat because you can kind of layer them with anything and they don't get like tangled up or anything. So yeah, I absolutely love this chain. I hope you can see like the detail of it. It's just really, really nice. So the next chain I haven't actually got on because I think it's going to be easier to show you when it's off. But is this fairly long chain. So as you can see, if it was on, it would kind of sit a lot lower than that one. They look really nice together. So it's just a long gold chain and then at the bottom it's got this little glass pendant with a scorpion engraved and honestly it's so so pretty. You can see this okay but it's like holographic inside so it like catches the light really nicely and it's just so sweet. I can't wait to wear that like with this one with like low cut stuff it looks so nice. Those are the bits that I wanted to show you today. Um, I do also have a discount code for you, which I will leave in the description down below. Yeah, I absolutely love Regal Rose. It's quite rare to find a brand that you just love everything they do, but honestly, whenever they have like a new collection, I'm always just know I'm going to love all of it. Um, so they have got a new collection at the moment. It's the Free Rain collection. 
um, a few of the pieces that I showed you today are from that collection. A lot of the pieces in that collection are also kind of like encouraging mixed metals and stacking and stuff, which obviously I absolutely love those two things. I will leave a link down below to all the pieces that I've spoken about today and Regal Rose's website. So now moving on from jewellery, I'm going to try and kind of keep this in like sections so it sort of makes sense. Um, so I've got a few beauty sort of makeup related things to talk about as well. First thing that I have absolutely loved, I did speak about these and actually used them in my most recent makeup video I believe. Um, these are the nude sticks all over face colours. So this colour here is the in the nude one, this is the pinky and more blush colour, this is what I used in my glowy skin I think I used it then. Loved it so much that I went and bought another colour. So this is the Bondi Bay colour. So you can see this is like way more of a tan, almost a kind of bronzy sort of colour rather than a blush. Um, I have been using this as like a really light bronzy kind of contour and it works amazingly. Um, I love the formula of these. I've actually used this as like an eyeshadow as well, like when you don't really want to make an effort. So you just kind of like literally sweep a bit over your eyelids and it's just like a bronzy easy look. So yeah, I absolutely love those. Um, obviously they do have the little brush on the other end as well so they're like perfect for just having in your bag or traveling if you don't want to be carrying brushes around and stuff. I used a few of their eyeshadow sticks, their lip pencils and stuff and everything is just really good. If you haven't yet tried nude sticks I definitely definitely recommend them. Um, so far everything I've used I've absolutely loved but yeah these in particular are like one of my favourite products at the moment. And on to the next product and um, this is also one that I spoke about a little while ago and I've used it pretty much every day since then. Everybody did tell me how to pronounce this in like the comments in my last video but I really can't remember so this long word um the gel bronzer so this is so so good I just bought this on a whim like I was looking through cult beauty the NARS Laguna liquid bronzer was out of stock um so I thought I'll try something different and this is so good I think I actually might prefer it now it's like a really sheer gel bronzer it's like quite an interesting product the first time that I used it I wasn't really that sure if I liked it but I've used it like every single day now um I've got it on today as well so gives just like a really nice glow to the skin and obviously adds some colour so it's one of those like products that if you're not wearing any makeup you just put that on and it just like illuminates your whole face and just gives you a really nice glow I feel like it works the best with a sponge, I have used it with a brush as well but it kind of can go a little bit patchy so yeah personally I think it works the best kind of like patted on with a sponge yeah you literally only have to use the tiniest bit so absolutely love that and I, I want to get some more products from this brand because I'd actually never heard of them but yeah I'm really impressed with this then I have got a skincare product. Um, I haven't actually been buying or using that much new skincare at the moment because I feel like my skin's finally at a point where it actually likes the stuff that I'm using on it. So don't want to fuck that up just yet. I did recently get this face mask and I've used it quite a few times and I really, really love it. This is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I just really liked the packaging of this. Like, I was just really drawn to it and I thought, oh, I'll try it. It had like really good reviews on Cult Beauty. It's about twice a week. Um, you can wash it off after about 20 minutes, but it says you can basically just leave it on overnight as well. So the first time I left it on for 20 minutes and washed it off, and then the second time I used it, I left it on overnight. And it's one of those products that like, you can't exactly explain what it's done to your skin, but your skin just looks so much better. It makes your skin look really radiant and you just look like really rested, which I can't relate to. My skin personally gets really, really dried out when I'm on planes, uh, with just in like air con and stuff like that. So yeah, products like this are really good just to kind of like wake your skin back up. It's mainly like a hydrating mask, so it does make your skin feel really like quenched and healthy. Um, but it also gives you like a really nice glow. So yeah, I really, really love this. And I think I'm going to try some more things from this brand. I think they do other masks as well. Yeah, if you just want a product that's just going to kind of hydrate your skin and just make it feel a little bit healthier, um, definitely recommend this. Now, moving on to um, hair products. Like the weirdest thing for me to be talking about hair products because... I'm the laziest person in the world when it comes to my hair. I don't do anything. I literally wash it and then sometimes I straighten it and most of the time have it up. But yeah, I have actually got a few hair products I've been using recently that I've been really liking. So I thought for people who care about their hair, I will tell you. So the first thing is the Living Proof Instant D Frizzer. Um, so you literally spray this over your hair when it's dry and it literally just flattens your hair down so nicely. Um, I naturally have quite curly frizzy hair so I do have to like straighten it and blow dry it straight and stuff all the time. Normally I have loads and loads of little frizzy flyaways and stuff even when my hair's up and it's so annoying. Um, so I thought I would give this a go and honestly it like just flattens your hair down but it's not like a hairspray so it doesn't go sticky or like crispy because I literally can't bear the feeling of like hairspray in my hair, I hate it. It just flattens your hair down really nicely and just keeps everything in place um, and it smells like really 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 rich ladies 
Definitely recommend this if you do have slightly frizzier hair. It's just a really, really easy way to kind of flatten it down without having to really do too much. Next up, I was so, so excited when these turned up, like way too excited but still so these are the function of beauty shampoo and conditioners also has my name on it and like a small child i get very excited when things have my name on them you completely customize these so you choose like what hair type you have etc and then you choose the color and the scent and everything so as i said like i have such a weird hair type that it's really hard to find shampoos that work for it I have used these a couple of times um, I'm going to be doing like a full review on them soon I'll be doing like a full hair care video soon like what I do what color I use how I style it and stuff um, and yeah I'll be giving a full review of these as well when I've used them for a little while and yeah so far I really like them but I just wanted to mention those I think they're so cool that is it for the beauty related products and um, so the next thing I want to talk about is actually a candle and um, this is like my fourth or fifth one of this candle I just burned through them so quick this is from the white company so this is the wild mint peppermint and white tea candle oh my god i wish you could smell things through here because it is just the most beautiful smell ever it's obviously really really minty and um, it's just such a fresh smell like i burn this all the time in my room and it just makes it smell so so nice the smell of mint anyway but it's like even nicer than mint on its own only candles that i can actually smell when i'm like in the room and it's burning you know normally you have to like go away and come back and then you can smell it for like two minutes but this you can actually smell when it's burning. For the price, I think they're only about £20. It's like amazing. So you love this. If you're into kind of like fresh, clean sort of scents rather than like floral, um, you would absolutely love this. So yeah. Okay, so last thing I want to speak about is a couple of books. I will be doing an updated book video at some point, but there's just like a few more books that I want to read first that I want to put in it. Hopefully it will be coming soon, but I thought for today I will just speak about the ones I read really recently and I've really enjoyed. So the first book is... Daisy Jones and the Six. Um, you've probably heard quite a bit about this. I think they're actually making a series out of this soon on Amazon, which is going to be really, really cool. Basically about a band in the 70s. Um, a lot of people, when I was reading about it, have said that it's loosely based on like Fleetwood Mac. And obviously I absolutely love them. And there are quite a lot of references in it that, yeah, I think it probably is about them. It's not like a autobiography. It's just like kind of loosely based on them. And it's, but yeah, this is so good. Written in like an interview style, which at first I was like so weird but then you like really quickly get into it and it's really easy to follow so you love this i saw so many people speaking about this and it just took me so long to actually get around to reading it so you love this i read it so quickly i was just like absolutely obsessed it's just like a very raw kind of story um even if you're not particularly like into kind of like rock bands or anything it's still like a really really interesting story and yeah it's quite easy to read and follow so yeah really enjoyed that one then the next one is the girl before so this book is more of like a thriller, which is really not what I normally read at all, but I absolutely loved this. But as soon as I finished this, I did order a couple more of this author's books, um, because I just love how they write, and it was just, yeah, I was like so addicted to this book. Definitely if you are into your more kind of like psychological um, thriller books, you would absolutely love this. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I read this so quickly. It's quite similar to um, If You Sin Sleeping With The Enemy. That is just like one of my favourite films ever. And it, it has quite like that sort of vibe to it. So if you like that kind of like really creepy sort of on the edge kind of thing, um, you would absolutely love this book. So that is everything that I wanted to speak about today. Um, I feel like I need to kind of like wrap this up because I've got all the windows shut and it is like a million degrees. So I feel like I need to breathe. Everything that I have mentioned will be linked in the description down below as well as my discount code for Regal Rose for you guys to use. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for being here. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the week and look after yourselves and I'll be back very soon. Love you.